before we continue in our act of worship in our second part, I published the bands of marriage between Jack Benjamin New Newland and Planner Jane English, both of Silver and St. Francis Parish. This is the third time of asking and the bands of marriage between Joe Thomas Foster of this parish and Shania Cunningham of All Saints, South Lane. This is the first time of asking. If anyone knows any reason in law why these persons may not marry each other, you are to declare it now. We are going to take our intercessions now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joys of summer, the good things in life that we are currently able to enjoy, whether at home, in the garden, by the beach or away on holiday. And yet we look in absolute horror at the events in Beirut following the enormous explosion in the city docks. We see homes in ruins, buildings destroyed, thousands injured, and so many have died, and yet more are bereaved. What can we pray for? Lord Jesus, we know that you care, so we pray for your help to heal broken families, to comfort the homeless, to support those who have lost their livelihoods. May the aid workers be quick to arrive, be able to reach the most needy, and bring hope to the hopeless. There are also many refugees trying to get to British shores, families without hope, with lives and homelands destroyed by man's inhumanity to man. Again, Lord Jesus, we know that you care. Teach us, good Lord, to care for the hopeless and to find just and merciful solutions to the refugee crisis. May those in government, in law enforcement and in social care have open hearts and loving wisdom in the treatment of refugees who arrive. We thank you that the churches are slowly opening up for services here in Suffolk in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. We thank you that some of us can meet in the church building and that other members of our fellowship can tune in online so that together we may worship you, listen to your word and hear your teachings, Lord Jesus. Wherever we are, please fill us with your Holy Spirit to worship you in spirit and in truth and to be guided and strengthened in love through the same Spirit at work in our lives. Finally, we pray for Messy Church, reaching out to younger members of our church and to young people in our village. May they enjoy the online presentation this week, the singing, the stories, and even the jokes. This month, may we find activities that they can eagerly join in with while growing in knowledge of you, Lord Jesus. We ask all these things in your name. Amen.
before we go on to Eucharistic prayer, if you are joining us in church for the first time, coming up from the eye here, you just get to this point, and I will stretch out my hand and then give the wafer. Then the same procedure, back to your seat. The peace of God is an important thing to share among ourselves, but we cannot do that. But we can reassure ourselves of God's peace being with us wherever we are. So know that the Lord's peace is with you here in church and even at home. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your living word, through whom you have created all things. Who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Savior. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed. The source of all holiness. Grant by the power of your Holy Spirit. And according to your holy will. These gifts. Of bread and wine. May be to us the body and blood of, your, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed. Took bread. And gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to, the, to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share in this one bread and one cup. So that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Let us pray. And we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Holy Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Well, thank you for being part of this service in church and all those watching online. And I do pray that the Lord will continue to be with us as we go into a new week. Let us pray. 
The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.